I know there are many educators who want to protect children. This goal is not different from my own. Our implementation preferences may differ, but we want the same thing, to get through COVID without harm. Unfortunately, politics leads us to believe there is only one solution, masks. Yet thousands of schools around the country have been open during the entire pandemic without masks and no corresponding rise in serious illness. There were not child coffins lined up as some educators in this county suggested would be the case. In fact, things have been going pretty much as normal. Kids are getting sick despite wearing masks. We are forcing healthy children home for exposure despite them wearing masks. And we are segregating children by vaccination status and religious exemption status despite the wearing of masks. So I ask you, if masks work, why don't they? I know. I'd now like to cover the facts. Not policy is determined by the White House, not CDC recommendations, which I remind you is still policy. Policy, my ad, that I might add, that changes by the day without any basis in science at all. So here are the facts. that are available to any one of you. Over the course of the pandemic, 49,000 children have died of all causes. 331 of those were COVID related. Yet we have turned kids' lives upside down at school for what is essentially a non-risk. Let's put that risk into context. Last year, fewer kids died of COVID-19 than of heart disease, cancerous tumors, suicide, homicide, and drownings. Have the protocols, have, have the schools stopped serving hamburgers and french fries? Have we put up tinfoil on the ceilings to block power lines? Do we even address the growing incidences of suicide during the pandemic? No, we play politics with kids' faces by placing restrictive fabric over their noses and mouths that the CDC itself has said don't do anything, and it's for their safety. This is asinine. This is blatant political theater, and it needs to end. <laughs> Finally, regarding that end, I need to point something out that has been bothering me. On November 15th of last year, I had the privilege of speaking with Dr. McDade for 10 minutes following the CRT town hall meeting. During that discussion, which was friendly and cordial, I asked what she, as superintendent, could do to get the kids out of masks. Dr. McDade told me that she would if she could, but that her hands were tied by then Governor Northam's executive order mandating face coverings. And if it weren't for that, things would be different. Well, tonight, things are different. And I'd like to ask you, Dr. McDay, tonight, what has changed? And what do you plan on doing now that your hands are untied? I'm in fact, I'm asking all of you to step up the way other leaders who have, who have and are ending COVID restrictions by the day. What, when will you, what will it take? You are on the losing side of history. Thank and it's you, time Ms. to Benson. make that right before these children now. Thank you. Thanks so much for watching this video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so you never miss new content from The Daily Signal.